So look on the screen. He just walks into the store like he's shopping, knowing he has no intentions of paying. No. Then he also has a girlfriend. So can you imagine this has to be hard? Think about it. Here she is. She got her bag. She came with her own, I guess, thievery bag. Can you imagine people getting up work, going to work every day, trying to make a living at the stores, and you encounter this? Probably buying some things you would like to buy, but really can't afford to buy because the price is so high. You saw the screen. That's why some stores are closing down. What, $95 billion? The workers are taught, don't, you know, don't approach them, don't, don't touch them. And I can understand that because it could escalate. It could escalate. A worker could lose their lives. Oh, that I, I get it. I totally get it. A worker could lose, you could lose your life. It's not worth it. A death benefit, shutting the store down. Somebody could get shot, get, then you get sued. It's not worth it. And so I'm sure a lot of them know that. So you know what? Go ahead and still look on the screen. Theft ring. Bad Bill Becky she in on it too. Skinny Mini Molly, she in on it. They got her pitch on here too. Now it looks to me like everybody's got arms and legs, so they know how to steal. So you don't have arms and legs to, I don't know, possibly I don't get a job and work. You don't you can't do that. People are doing what they want to do. Home Depot, they're starting to lock up stuff now. Have you seen the price of a gun? Just go to the garden, the uh, garden and lawn section. I'm like, I like begonias, but man, I'm paying this much for begonias? Really? So do what I do. Buy some begonias. When you plant them, you can spread them out. Oh, but I want it to look bountiful. Chill, I got you. There's a thing called miracle Grow Water and mix it in with the green stuff and boom, boom, you got a beautiful bouquet of begonias. And you save some money. Especially if you already have the miracle crawl. They got folks walking in the Home Depot, and I think one of if some of them might be contractors. They're coming in with trucks. One man pulled a gun out. A woman, she pulled out her hammer. Try to stop me if you won't. And then I thought about it. I bet she stole a hammer from Home Depot because she was actually still in the store. But that's what people are doing. They're getting those big utility carts. You might always oh, probably a contractor. Load them up. Maybe for a wheel car order. No to steal. People are doing what they want to do. Off during the pandemic, was getting the checks and income, and I don't want to go back to work. Uh oh, my money's run out. So I've got a drug problem. Steal. One Home Depot was so bad, they had to put in these measures where if the sensor goes off, you have to go through a gate and the gate locks and, the, and you can't push it through. I cannot believe, just one store now, one, not a whole lot of stores. It's, this is how bad, don't forget, we're looking at a 95 billion, B as in boy, billion dollar problem. So one Home Depot put in safety measures, they're locking up items like saws and things. They're locking some things up that are expensive. Locking them up. Got to go get somebody with a key. They said just in a year alone of implementing those measures, the store, I can't believe it. In a year alone, they said a store has saved a million dollars. Ouch. A million dollars. Wow. Unbelievable. And look at this. Able-bodied men and women want to steal look at these two and some of this is the report as drug use look, look at these two i guess a couple that commit crime together do time together i think 
they might be the ones, if I'm not mistaken, is that the one with a $40,000 theft in a month or something, $40,000? And then someone stole like $12,000 in a month. This is not because they're needing food. No. People are doing what they want to do. I want some easy money. And I believe some of it is some of these thefts, speaking in general, is drug use. You darn skippy. People are doing what they want to do. And don't forget the kayaking crew. Look at this. Now, one thing that they should do, you see the outfit, the wetsuit. You can see if it was purchased recently. Try to zoom in and see if this is a label. Look at the wetsuit, where is it sold? Try to find it. Mike can narrow, narrow down something in the area. But think. They know it's one way in, one way out. And my other thing was, where is a Karen when you need him? Karen, where, where were you, boo? Karen, where were you? Where is a Karen when you need one? They could have caught him. Nobody called the police. Gee, I wonder why. Hmm. Nobody called the police. And they were seen trying to break in another house. No one called. I wonder why. Where is a Karen when you need her? She always in everybody's business. Where is a Karen when you need her? And think. The burglars got in the house while the people were there. So I wonder, okay, the people are in the house. So you got in. How did you know where to go exactly to get the $20,000? Maybe they just looked out. That's the part that hits my mind. So how long did this stuff take? And did you just go right into what it was $20,000? Or did you know there was going to be 20000 by somebody that worked there or a friend? Who, some, I wonder. How? How did you... Was it quick? Was it in and out? Was it an inside job? I, I wonder. And how did they get out? They pulled a roll, roll, roll your boat. They went out kayaking style. This is where we are. People are going to do what they want to do. Well, the kayaks already there. Well, they, you know, did they steal the kayaks? Were those kayaks belong to someone else? But it's a well thought out plan. Oh, well thought out plan. And get away on the kayak. Hence the wetsuit. Why? People doing what they want to do. This is society. I'm just going to take what I want. Just take what I want. And like the man said, that there, I understand the store saying not to engage. Don't, you know, approach or anything. Don't lay hands because it could escalate. I understand because these people, when people get to a point, especially when they've been doing this and especially if it's drug use, oh my gosh, you, beware. So, yep, so that's what people are doing. They're just stealing, take whatever they want. They know what the threshold is. It's a new way to start a business, online business, stolen goods. How long do you think this is going to turn out? And then, so not just inflation, but now we have higher prices due to theft. $95 billion. So this, this day and age, don't what they say expect the unexpected even this right here the kayaking crew dusty dan the kayaking man beware you don't know he might have a gun in his hand maybe it was a good thing they didn't come face to face somebody might be dead but this is where we are people can learn a lot oh i can steal that much okay and make it this thing. Hop it in your car, not to go to, to work or run a, go to a job or run an errand. No, hop it in your car. Oh, yeah. Knowing, oh, I'm going to get to go in here and go steal. This is where we are. So all I can say is beware. People that do this right here, they may seem calm. Roll up on them. It's not worth it. And the stores know it. So I guess they're just letting them go. And now you see why some stores just close up. $95 billion problem. That's what it says. Let me go. Yeah. Not, not, not million. B as in boy. 
and you wonder why some stores just shut down. So the crime is up. Why do some stores shut down? $95 billion problem. And of course, they're passing that on to the consumers, you and me. And I'm like, in the nursery, I'm like, wherever, I'm like, you got to be kidding me. These prices are too high. No, we got we to pay for the thieving man. Dusty Dan. And Dustinas too. So in closing, remember this jingle that I did when we first started out? And thank you for everyone who supported the channel. Beware, Dusty Dan. <coughs> Beware. It's not worth it, people. Beware the angry I better watch man. out for Dusty Dan. The thieving man. Too many in the land. They'll box up. $95 billion at hand. Beware the angry white man. Beware the angry white man. He's stealing. Beware the angry white man. What are you doing? Stealing? Beware the angry white man. Beware the angry white man. He's really good at throwing those hands. And stealing, too. Beware the angry white man. You know his name is Dusty Dan. He's good at throwing those hands. So call the cops. There we go. He won't get shot. He in a kayak this time. Beware the angry white man. He's dangerous. He will come for you. Dang. Beware the angry white man. He's really good at throwing those hands. And grabbing stuff and stealing. Beware the angry white man. Where Becky at? He's good at throwing those hands. And stealing. So call the cops. Don't worry, he won't get shot. Not this time, he on a kayak, can't driving. He'll hurt you too. Back up. Don't underestimate a the dangerous fool. Beware, ladies and gentlemen. Beware the angry white man.